The Federal Emergency Management Agency, better known as FEMA, has allocated $3 billion to Puerto Rico for hurricane recovery. Puerto Rico's governor says, though, that it's not enough. NTD's Holly Kellum has the details. It's been over a year since Hurricane Maria hit Puerto Rico, but recovery is far from it's over, says the, the governor island's governor, Ricardo Rosselló. NTD caught up with him in Washington, where he is attending a governor's meeting. He says he's trying to get a meeting with a president to talk about what the island still needs. As you know, we, we have uh, resources coming from FEMA. Many of them have been, uh, uh, have been slowed down uh, in large part uh, due to the fact that uh, uh, Puerto Rico does not uh, uh, have the power to disburse the, the funds. He also wants another $600 million for Puerto Rico's nutrition program called NAP, which the White House has called, quote, excessive and unnecessary. Last month, the White House said about the funding proposal that there is, quote, no indication that households need ongoing support at this time or that Puerto Rico requires additional time to return to normal NAP operations. After Hurricane Maria hit the island in September 2017, both President Trump and Vice President Mike Pence flew there to see the damage. Communication between the White House and San Juan had been regular and direct. But over time, that has changed, Rosseo says. You know, overall, uh, lack of urgency at the high level to, to try to address this. Governor Rosseo did say that he is planning to meet with the president on Monday as part of a larger meeting with the National Governors Association, but he wasn't successful in getting a one-on-one -on -one with the president. We did call and email the White House today to get their side of the story. Unfortunately, we didn't hear back from them by our deadline. Holly Kellum, NTD News.